Well, a lot of things are changing for us. As you can tell, many of us are working from home and uh, we're sheltering in place in the viewing area. But the other curveball here, parents are facing keeping their kids educated and continuing to learn here through the school season with school being out. Six News reporter Cole Johnson shows us how one district is handling continuing learning. The only teaching experience I have is just mom stuff, you know, uh, life, life coaching. A lot of parents can relate to this amidst the latest coronavirus developments, forcing kids to continue the school year for now at home. It's definitely a learning process and trial by error. Today is the first day for continued learning at KISD, meaning school is going to look different for students and for staff in the district. We have all said that we are all in this together and it's like building a plane while flying. This is totally new to us. Using technology is not new. Virtual learning is new. At Harker Heights Elementary Wednesday, parents were picking up physical packets with lessons among other things. But hey, you might not know all the answers. There is an easy fix. Reach out to your kids' teachers. They know your children, they want the best for your children, and they'll answer to your questions. They're the number one source. Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction Sharon Davis says the first meeting for continued learning was March 13th, when it looked like they wouldn't be coming back to school the following Monday. She says they put in about 126 hours in the last seven days. When we look back, we will realize more how significant and really how extraordinary this has been. She says the work is not finished and they're preparing if school continues to stay closed. When you give educators uh, a vision and a mission, they are the most innovative, creative, flexible, grit filled professionals that you will ever find. Reporting in Colleen, Cole Johnson, 6 News.